Working with projections in QGIS can be frustrating. Uh, this is a video that will try to make projections slightly less frustrating. Uh, so there are three main ways that you're going to interact with projections in QGIS. Uh, the first one is at the project level. So right now my project is set up to um, display all my data together um, no matter what. And that is a setting in the project settings. You can either go up here to project, project settings, project properties rather, or you can go down here um, if you'd rather only click once. There is this button. Um, and it should take you to this CRS tab. Um, if you open the project properties, you might first be in general properties or something like that. Uh, but let's go to the CR CRS tab. And you can see right now that this setting, enable on the fly CRS transformation, is checked. And that is the setting that makes your data always show up in the same projection. And you pick that projection right here. So I could say that I always want it to show up in WGS84 and hit apply. And you see that it transforms the map to be in WGS84. And both data sets are now displayed in WGS84. But um, if I did not want to enable on the fly transformation, sometimes you want to turn this off because you're not actually sure which projections your data is in. And this is a quick way to see that. So you can turn it off. And when I hit apply, um, you see that one of my data sets just disappeared. And it didn't really disappear, it's just no longer in the view. So if I right click on that layer that disappeared and hit zoom to layer, I can now see that layer. Um, it's just, if you look down here and in the coordinates, it's down at the bottom here, you can see that the numbers are really large. And that's because this layer is in a different projection than this one. When I'm here, the, the coordinates are much smaller. And the coordinates are much more what we would expect from WGS84, or latitude and longitude coordinates. So that is the first main way you'll be interacting with projections. In QGIS, you'll go to Project Properties, <clears throat> and you'll check to see if this is checked. Most of the time, you do want it to be checked. Um, see, I hit Apply this time, and things disappeared. Let's zoom to the layer again. OK, now I can see everything. Great. So what if you want all of your data to be in the same projection? But um, on the fly transformation just won't do. And there are a couple of reasons why this on the fly transformation won't work all the time. The, the main reason is when you are making some kind of calculation. Say, if I wanted to count how many of these points are in each borough, that's something you need both um, data sets to be in the same projection for. So. Um, <clears throat> so I know already that the boroughs the purple polygons I know that these are in um, State Plain Long Island and I know that because I know that because I downloaded the data from New York City's open data portal uh, but you should be able to go into the layer properties either by right-clicking and finding properties, or just double-clicking. Um, and you should be able to find, under general, you should be able to find the coordinate system. Often it comes through like this in QGIS. Um, but I know, <clears throat> kind of by sight, that this will be State Plain Long Island. If I'm not sure about that, um, you can convert both. So <clears throat> so maybe first 
let's say I want both of my data sets to be in state plane Long Island because I want to just make sure that I'm using the appropriate projection for the city. So I'll right click on the first one and go down to save as. And I'm going to end up creating a new shapefile. Let's zoom in a little bit for that. So first you have to pick where that's going to go. I'm recording this and putting it in this folder. And I'm going to give it a new name. Uh, I'll say new NYBB2263 because that's the projection I'm going to use, 2263. That's not necessary. It's just um, for my sanity when I'm looking at these files later. Um, OK. So now I wasn't sure if this CRS here, let's close that. I wasn't sure if this one was the one I wanted. So I clicked on the Browse button next to it. Browse for Select CRS. Um, you could also, if it was in your recently used projections, you could go right here and pick it. Um, the other way would be to go here and filter and find it either in your recently used or down here in all of the coordinate systems that QGIS has available to it. And I'll hit OK. You can see that the saved layer will be in this CRS now. And we're going to add the saved file to the map. So when I hit OK, I now have this polygon layer, this reddish one, purplish reddish one. Um, and this one I know is in State Plain Long Island. Um, I'm going to remove the old one because I don't need it anymore. I like to keep my layers clean. And I'm going to do the same exact thing for the points. So I'm going to right click and go down to Save As. Browse. Call it, I'll just call it Uber 2263. And I will pick 2263 out of the list of CRSs. Okay. And then when I hit OK, I have a new point layer. It looks like we just did nothing at all. But actually, if we turned off on the fly projection, we should see, yes, that our pink dots, which were in WGS84, are now over here by themselves. And if we zoom to the 2263, everything is lined up as expected. Now we can definitely do some calculations, and we can be reasonably sure that everything's in the same projection and everything should work. OK. One other thing that I want to point out while I'm doing this, the third way that you might interact with projections in QGIS might be um, t in this set layer CRS area. Um, <clears throat> this is only useful if you imported data with no projection. So if, as it says here, this layer appears to have no projection specification, by default, it will have the one below, WGS84, but you can override that. So <clears throat> say it was imported, um, somehow it was like a faulty shape file, didn't have a projection with it, you can override it here and say, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 2263 or something like that. Um, that is not going to come up very often. The time that you most often see it is when you're opening uh, like a CSV file and you need to specify the projection because CSV files don't have projections inherent to them. Shape files do. So when you open a shape file, you should never have to do that. Um, and setting the layer of CRS is not the same as going to Save As and selecting the new CRS for it. It's not the same thing. When you set the CRS, it doesn't actually change the coordinates. It just starts treating it as if it's in 
the projection that you picked. And that is probably the most confusing part about working with projections in QGIS. Um, so just a quick recap, you're going to go down to Project, Project Properties, if you're handling projections for your whole project. And if you have a layer that you want to be in a different projection, you're going to select the layer, right click, go to Save As, and then pick the new projection and save it in a new file. 